Hey everybody, welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So on today's episode, we're gonna get into the myths and mystery around laser cleaning wood. It's one of the hottest topics that I get asked about on all my laser cleaning videos, and I figured it's high time that we just make a video and talk all about the process of laser cleaning wood. We're gonna be using a 500 watt pulsed laser cleaner called the GT500 by DMK Laser and getting into all the specific settings that you need to know to know how to laser clean wood and figure out which woods can be cleaned wow, 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 is very nice. and which ones can't. <laughs> You're not moving fast enough. <laughs> well. And we'll even get some insider information from the CEO of DMK Laser Jally in an exclusive interview that I had with her here at my shop. So if that sounds like something you wanna get into, then buckle up, get your pen and paper out, cause we're about to get into laser cleaning some wood on Laser Engraving 911. All right, so first things first, I thought we'd do a little recap of what laser cleaning is. For those of you that have not watched my other videos on laser cleaning, you can check those out here or here. Laser cleaning machines like the GT500 we're about to talk about uses high pulses of light energy to remove or ablate the surface or contaminants of various substrates in a very controlled way. And it does this because it has the ability to control the power, the frequency, and the pulse width, and also the shape of the beam to accomplish this. So it can be very hard or it can be very gentle. The reason that this method is preferred for some substrates over chemical stripping or sand blasting or water blasting or ice blasting is because you can tune it so well that you can remove very thin layers at a time without harming the substrate underneath with the right settings. So that is basically laser cleaning in a nutshell. All right, first let's do a quick overview of the GT500 from DMK. It's a 500 watt pulsed laser cleaner. It's very compact. I can totally lift it up if I have to and put it in the back of my truck. Although I would recommend having a second person. My back. Back. The other thing that's really great about this machine compared to other machines that I've tried before is the UI interface and the level of control that this machine has. They've made it so easy for anyone, whether you're just getting started with laser cleaning or you're a more advanced user, by making their UI interface very easy to understand, very straightforward, and one of the best things that they've done at DMK is they've given you at least 10 different starter settings for various material, including settings like wood. And we'll talk about settings and all those different parameters later in this video, but it is so nice to finally see a company that has taken the time to really dial in these base level settings in a pulsed fiber laser cleaner like the GT500. This 500 watt pulse cleaner is a powerhouse. Whether you wanna be gentle with it, whether you wanna be really aggressive, going from a 300 watt pulse machine to a 500 watt pulse machine makes a huge difference, not only in the power that you have, but also the time in which it takes you to get these jobs done. It's like night and day compared to a 300 watt or a 200 watt or a 100 watt laser cleaner. So now that we've got that covered, let's go ahead and talk about various finishes that you're going to see on wood and how they can be treated when using a pulsed fiber laser cleaner like the GT500. Let's get into it. All right, now what I think is really important that we talk about is the various types of finishes that you're going to see on different types of wood, whether it's a piece of furniture, whether it's a door, whether it's a cabinet, whether it's some kind of historical item that you're trying to laser clean. It's really important that you understand what the finish 
is made from. So what I mean by that is there's oil and petroleum based finishes and there's water based finishes. And that matters a lot when it comes to laser cleaning. If you've got an oil based or petroleum based finish, which usually is a lot of the older, more historical finishes before water-based finishes were invented, the laser cleaner is going to strip that stuff off so nice and so clean. It's gonna be like all the cool magic videos that you've seen out there of that finish just coming off. But what they don't show you is that pulsed laser cleaners struggle with water-based finishes because those kind of finishes penetrate deeper into the wood and they're very difficult for any kind of laser cleaner to remove because of the way it penetrates the wood. And you need to know that before you start taking on laser cleaning jobs. So a really easy way to figure out what kind of finish it is, because I had to figure this out for myself, is get yourself a little alcohol pad of 90% alcohol, or you can just put some on a rag. And if you rub that alcohol on an oil-based varnish or finish, it's not going to have much effect at all. And you just really won't affect it at all. Now, if you take that same alcohol pad and you rub it on a water-based finish for a few seconds, you're gonna notice that the surface becomes gummy and sticky. And that's a dead giveaway that you're dealing with a water-based finish and your machine is probably going to struggle at removing that finish. So that's just a little tip from me to you, if you're getting into laser cleaning wood with something like the GT500, you need to have a good understanding of what kind of finish it is before you take on the job so you don't disappoint the customer and of course you don't waste your time. So now that we've got that little tidbit out of the way, let's move on to the next section. There is a lot of myths and a lot of misinformation out there about cleaning wood. And I hope that if there's one thing you get from this video is that I'm not saying that every single surface can be removed using a laser cleaner. There are going to be different substrates and different coatings on wood that are going to be either impossible to remove or take a slower time to remove or they're going to go lightning fast and totally blow you away at how efficient these laser cleaners are. But what it really comes down to is your power, your frequency, and your pulse width, and the shape and size of the beam coming out of your laser cleaner. The GT500 has all those features dialed in very, very nicely. But for a better understanding of those settings, I think right now what we want to do is jump over and watch a few tidbits from my exclusive interview with Jally from DMK. She happened to be in the area and she came by the shop and we got to play with the GT500 and then I asked her to sit down so we could specifically talk about some of the mysteries and get to the bottom of all these three settings to help better explain it to everyone out there. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding. So let's go ahead and dive into that really quick, and then we'll come back to talking more about laser cleaning wood. Thank you so much for coming out all the way here. It's my great uh, honor. Let's talk a little bit about frequency and, and pulse width. We've got our power, we've got our frequency of the laser, and we've got our pulse width. And that's what you're gonna find in any pulsed laser cleaning unit. Your power is your power. It's yeah. the, there is the power, the power of every the... second you gave this power in total, the energy you gave out. Right. So every second, 500 watt or 300 watt maximum you can get. Right. Of course, you can get less, but you will never get more than that because right. this laser designed for. And for the frequency is that how many pulses you have per second. You right. have maximum 500 watts per second and you have maximum how many pulses. Maximum. So when you say pulse, mm. you mean let's let's pretend the oh, laser. Yes. Let's bullets. pretend the laser. Yeah, yeah. bullets. It's like bullets. Pretend the laser source is here. Giving bullets. It's, it's cut. One shot is coming down. Yes. How so, many per second? That's your frequency. How, yes. How fast? So if you have a low frequency, you put twenty kilohertz. So it's two thousand bullets every right. second. Right. That's correct. And that's why I was asking. Let's go very seven hundred kilohertz. Seven million bullets every Almost second. Almost a solid, 
almost a solid So that's become beam. like CW. Right. Because you have so many bullets and then you work like a CW, that's right. easy to burn. So you put less bullets, so that's very low frequency. I like that we're using bullets. In my mind, I'm imagining the stormtroopers from Star Wars and their, you know, their, their, their laser guns. Yes. And then they've got fully automatic. And when you raise your frequency up, yeah. you're almost in yes. like fully automatic. Yes. You're uh, really right. shooting those out as yes. fast as possible, almost to where it's a continuous yes. power. Yeah. Right? And so when you slow that down, it's boom, yes. boom. So the pulse width duration is every single bullet explosion, how long on the surface. Okay. If it's uh, 500 nanoseconds, means that the laser stay on the surface 500 nanoseconds. Uh -huh. If it's 100 or 50 nanoseconds, means it's really quick. The bullets explode in just 50 nanoseconds and left. Right. So then, based on this single definition of the power, frequency, uh -huh. and duration, right. then you know generally for material wood, very sensitive to the power. Very so, sensitive. Yeah, power, so. because if, or some, you know, galvanized material, you don't want to hurt the base, the second layer, you just want to take off the first layer. Right. So then you need to work really gently on the material. Now what I wanted to do is just show you a few more examples of how the GT500 tackled some of these woods that I got here in the shop to specifically show you how efficient it is at removing those different stains and varnishes from wood. So first up, we've got the oil-based wood varnish and uh, I picked up this antique chair. The laser just vaporizes the stain with ease, revealing the nice, clean wood grain beneath. Perfect for any antique restorer or furniture restoration, as long as you got that oil-based varnish. And here's the settings that I used to clean this chair. All right, next up, this one's a tough one. Thick white paint on an old clay brick. While this process is slower, the laser lifts the white paint clean off while preserving the brick's natural texture. And here's the settings I used for this brick. Now we've got some rusty antique hand tools that I picked up just to show you how effective the GT500 is. The laser strips the rust off so fast because you've got 500 watts, but it leaves the age and character of the metal intact. And here's those settings. But like we talked about, not every test is a success. This picture frame with water-based stain didn't go well, just like we talked about in the video. The laser has almost none to little effect here, and I'm using the same setting that I used on the oil-based varnish in the beginning of this montage. Next up, we've got a grimy aluminum cookie sheet that I've had here at my house that I figured why not get all this grease and grime off. This kind of gunk is super easy for the GT500, and here's the settings I used for that. And finally, a very delicate challenge. These are painted paper swatches that I picked up from Home Depot, and with just the right technique, we are able to remove the pigment while leaving the paper completely unharmed underneath. Now, I know I'm just showing off, but seriously, I wanna demonstrate how you can fine tune this type of pulsed laser cleaner to be very surgical and tactical when removing contaminants from surfaces without harming the substrate underneath. And here's the settings I use for this. Laser cleaning takes experimentation. Just like you see Jolly and I doing here in my shop, messing around, going back and forth, trying different patterns, trying different parameters. Some jobs are wins, some are learning moments. The key is to always test first on your own stuff. Never be afraid to make mistakes. That's how we get better. That's how we learn. There's just so many substrates and material out there waiting for you to create the perfect setting to get them clean. But having these 10 base settings built in when you get the GT500 is amazingly helpful and is going to help anybody jumpstart their new laser cleaning business. Not only is the GT500 great for restoring wood or stripping finishes off of wood, but of course, it's great at removing rust, it's great at removing graffiti, it's great at removing oil and grease from machine parts, 
or molds if you've got grime and stuff left over. Because you have a pulsed fiber laser, this is the ideal laser for cleaning so many different substrates because you have that control over those settings. And the shapes that come with the GT500 are expansive. All right, well, that about wraps it up for this video. There are so many more features that I wanted to share in this video on the GT500 and its capabilities but let me just go over a few really quick. One of the other features of this machine that I really, really enjoy is the fact that it has a couple of red dot focusing lasers on it that help keep you in focus as you're sweeping back and forth over the substrate. The laser cleaning gun or handle actually has its own control module built into it with a screen allowing you to change the width of the beam the height of the beam, and also the pattern of the beam on the fly, so you don't have to keep walking back and forth. I already told you that the UI interface is very easy to operate, whether you're new or an advanced user with complete control over the laser. And one thing that we didn't talk about earlier is the actual laser source that's in the machine is a JPT laser source, and it's highly customized for DMK laser. And what I mean by that, it is not a Gaussian beam and it is a not a top hat beam profile. It's actually a mix of the two, which is something that DMK had JPT do for them specifically to make this product unique. There's a lot of talk about which type of beam profile to get when it comes to laser cleaning and DMK recognized that and created their own beam profile. So this is a very unique laser source and it is able to work very gently or very aggressive on many different substrates depending on your needs. If you're interested in picking up a GT500, I've listed a link below in the description of this video so you can learn more about it. Yes, it's an affiliate link, and yes, by using that link and making your purchase, you're helping support the channel at no cost to you. And I also wanna thank all my existing subscribers for supporting me here at Laser Engraving 911. It means a lot to me and I couldn't do it without you. Hey, and hey, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and throw a like on this video if you enjoyed this educational content. So until next time, we'll see you around on Laser Engraving 911.